really important if you do an HTML page. HTML is a tool to set up the structure of your page. I'll make sure you understand that the structure comes first in HTML. Okay, the design of the page is also important, but this will be done by CSS, which is cascading sheets. And that you will learn in a little lesson of this course. Okay, but to make it a little bit more interesting for you, let's show what I mean. So let's have a look at this live example. It's a site cssinvergarden.com. This page is pure structured HTML. All the design comes from a separate file that only contains the style sheet for the design. You can even download the HTML and the CSS to have a closer look. But I will show you that later. This concept is so easy and universal that we can change the design of the page. Just by changing the CSS file. As you can see, the design has changed completely. The underlying HTML is all the same. This design other designs available. So go to the site and try it yourself. Just out of curiosity, let's have a quick look at the original HTML page that never changes. This is a page that you browse to see with other design information. By the way, this is also what the search Let's look at HTML source in text editor. This document is almost the same that you have already seen in my other videos. There is a doctor version, even if this is a little bit different from the other one of the course. There is also a hashtag. Now let's also look at its SS file. Even if you don't understand it, you will recognize some of the text names. For example, the body tag, the 
the paragraph tag. Okay, is this all the later in the course? So let's go back to the board stuff right now. Build a decent structure in HTML, which will always start with the page bomb tag for the largest headline. Add one more paragraph you want. In most cases, you might want to go on the second headline. So the second headline is not as important as the first one, so you should choose a page two tag for this. This will produce a smaller headline text, but this is Choose the size of your CSS letter. The more important part is that they give you a good structure. Now you can add some text on the subtopic. You can add another subtopic under the subtopic. This is H3 tag. So the structure is the most important is H1, the second important is H2, and the least important is H3. First, you can use H1 again for the next most important topic in the document. Let's see what it looks like in the browser. The two topics are now very structured with the last headlines. Now I have loaded another document to show you another example of a web structure HTML page. This is the new part. You can use the strong tag to make the text bold. In old HTML or in old books, you will find the D tag for both should not be used. Use the M tag to emphasize text. Use the I tag for text should not be used. 